Kimberly Boswright, you come from World Economic Forum, you are head of sustainable trade there. And right now we are in World Circular Economy Forum in Helsinki discussing on the circular economy concerning minerals. So what kind of expectations you have in World Economic Forum, how the circularity will go for forward in mining sector and mineral and uh, are there different steps in different corners of the world? How do you see it? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, so for the midterm, what we really want to see is that there is actually secondary material markets, that those really exist because they don't now. Um, we've heard from speakers here that for mining companies to actually connect through uh, to the end of their value chain and be able to get those materials back and for them to be reprocessing, that's not something they're doing yet. But in the future, that's something we want to see. We want it not to be mining or circularity. We want to see that mining companies are materials processing companies and that we really have those secondary materials markets. That when you get to the end of life with this, that it does go into a new phone or a new something else, but that essentially the material gets put back onto global markets. That's a nice Chris description of the uh, future needs we have, but mm -hmm. when will that happen? I would hope that it could happen in the, it is possible it could happen in the next couple of years if we got the rules right. Right now, global trade rules uh, make it very difficult to move hazardous end of materials across borders for good reason. So we don't have hazardous waste dumping, but we need to facilitate it so that it actually happens so that responsible hazardous waste trade can happen. Uh, so this could we could do that. Governments could do that tomorrow. They could agree. Uh, but it will probably take a bit of time to negotiate and come up with the right agreement. So hopefully in the next five years. Great, but let's make that happen.